Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Better You, the self-help, self-development, your guide to becoming the best version of yourself podcast. I come to you with another episode from a very different place you might not even be expecting. If you are an audio listener, hello, welcome, glad to have you back. And if you are a visual watcher, you are seeing that I'm actually situated in my new and improved glam room. This is a place, this is a place that for me feels so calming and just pleasing to be in. And so I decided to film today's episode in here just because the vibes were so good. I'm excited especially for today's episode because we are doing something very different that I've never done on this podcast before. We are doing a bedtime relaxation episode and the reason for why I decided to do this today is because I have made a podcast episode in the past on morning motivation. If you want to listen to it, it is up. It's one of my favorite episodes because I basically talk you guys through a morning routine. It's the perfect episode you can listen to every morning when you get ready, when you're driving to work, when you are maybe taking your morning shower, and it kind of has like morning affirmations for you to start your day off well and just on a good note. And so since that podcast episode did really well and you guys really resonated with it, I decided it would be fun to do kind of a bedtime version. So a bedtime relaxation episode that you can listen to every single night or it could be every single day, it could be every single Friday, it could be your self-care Sundays, whatever it may be. This episode is intended to listen, to wind down, to chill out, to get into that mindset that you are going to go to bed soon, the day is wrapping up, and you can just ease your anxiety and worries because bliss is coming sleep is coming and you're about to regenerate for tomorrow. I'm actually filming this episode when it is nighttime as well, so I'm kind of also in that relaxed state right now and I actually poured myself a little cup of tea. I'm drinking raspberry tea to get my vibe going. I actually love drinking tea before I go to sleep or just in the evenings. It always makes me feel so calm and just like I'm treating my body with respect, you know, I feel good in my body drinking some tea and it feels like a nice little ritual. Since I am filming this episode before I go to bed and I think I'm going to upload it at that time as well. I just feel very calm and serene right now. So that's the energy I'm bringing to you in this episode. We are talking calmly. We are talking slowly. I feel like in a lot of my other episodes, I speak very quickly and that kind of usually comes easily to me when it is daytime anyways. But as the sun sets, as the moon rises, I do get more tired and I feel like the melatonin is starting to release in my brain that right now I just feel very relaxed. So without further ado, if you haven't already given this podcast a rating, a thumbs up, left a comment, or subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the Instagram, make sure you do that so you stay connected to the A Better You family and you can interact with other people just like you that like all the same topics that are always commenting and just being active on all the posts. Now that that is all said, let's get into the episode. It probably will be a short one since it's one that you're intended to listen to more than once, but nevertheless, I'm excited to unwind with you. Having a nighttime routine is so important to me because it really sets the foundation for the day ahead. I don't know about you guys, but I have my best days and my best mornings when the night before I did everything to make that sleep as peaceful and as restful as I can. Ever since being in this new apartment, I have definitely prioritized my night routines and I feel like I just wake up so much happier and so much more relieved that I took that step the night before to ensure that the next day I would feel my best. I truly do think your energy, your mood, your beauty, your attentiveness, your productivity to how much rest you're getting and how peaceful it is and as well as how optimal your sleep is. Out are the days of compromising our sleep to get a little bit more work done or to stay on our phones doom scrolling. That is not what we're doing from now on. We are in a new era of prioritizing ourselves and the fact that you clicked on this episode I feel like already sets the tone for the vibe you trying to go for and I feel like you're already putting your best intentions forward and saying I am okay with slowing down. I have this time for myself to enjoy my own company, to get ready for bed, to set myself up for success and I know that this is actually benefiting me more than if I was watching one last episode of a TV show. I also wanted to say if you wanted another episode on the best sleep tips and how to optimize your sleep, I also do have a podcast episode on that 
that, which you might find really helpful. Now, when you are listening to this episode, I highly recommend you to curate a cozy vibe around you. I'll set the scene for what the ultimate listener experience would be. And if you aren't currently doing it, I feel like you can just imagine that you're there with me, that we're both in this cozy, comforting area together. You can even almost close your eyes if you're just relaxing and chilling and just envision what this would look like. So to me, the most cozy environment that I could think of is probably if I was sitting on a big couch, a very fluffy couch, a warm couch, all my senses are being activated. Like I am touching this couch. It is soft in between my fingers. I feel like I'm melting into it. My neck is relaxed. My whole body just feels supported in all the right places. And I am in like a very cozy room. I have a blanket with me that is warm. It is cozy. It is soft. It smells clean and crisp like fresh laundry. Maybe it's nighttime for me or like the evening. Evening, the sun is setting and I have a big window outside and I can just kind of see the view. My current view out of my apartment is a body of water and it is so relaxing every full moon when I see the moon rising and the moonlight reflecting on the water. Whenever I see this view, it is honestly so beautiful. I see boats passing on the water and it's just so relaxing. I feel like I can look outside for so long, even just looking at all the different buildings with like the warm yellowy lighting and people having their dinners or maybe their having a movie night with their partners you just see like faint outlines of people i see a few people taking a late night stroll and it is the perfect like crisp fresh air feeling outside where it's not too cold and it's not too hot but it's the right amount of wind now for some people i feel like their ideal bedtime situation is to have nighttime rainfall i feel like that's definitely my boyfriend's he's always listening to rain sounds if not the actual rain and that is another one of my favorite smells and just like auditory experiences i I swear whenever I go to his house to sleep over, he lives kind of like in a forest area and it is so calming to just listen to the rain fall on the windowsills, on the grass, on the trees, on the fence, even on the porch, on the chairs. You can just like hear the rain falling and not only does it sound like the perfect like ASMR sound to me, like just like trickling, it also smells so good. It's that smell of like freshly cut grass or just like pavement after it rains. It's honestly one of my favorite smells. But anyways, Back to my dream scenario of a night routine. You know, I might have a fireplace going, maybe some soft jazz in the background, the cracking of the wood. Oh, I just feel like having music in the background enhances an experience so much for me and playing those lo-fi YouTube videos on my screen that have like the perfect cozy aesthetic setup while having jazz playing in the background is like just the feeling of relaxation to me. So I would definitely be having that playing on my TV. And of course, I feel like we can't have the coziest environment unless we have some sort of scent going. I don't think there's anything better than lighting a candle for the first time, no matter what the scent is. I personally love vanilla or like a little bit of like muskier scents even though those are kind of opposite but those scents are probably my favorite I feel like especially going into fall getting into the cozy vibe with like a pumpkin smell or a marshmallow cookie smell hot chocolate smell even like red crisp apple I feel like any of those scents would just make me feel serene and like I could just cozy up and never get out of bed you guys, I have something very exciting to share with you that's been an absolute game changer. As you know, I'm always looking for ways to boost my immunity, feel lighter, improve my metabolism, and keep my hair and skin glowing. Well, since I've been using Armra Colostrum, it has been pretty incredible. Armra Colostrum isn't just another supplement. It's a bioactive whole food that taps into the power of over 400 functional nutrients to support the body from the inside out. It's sustainably sourced from grass-fed cows here in the U.S., and it strengthens your immune system, optimizes your gut health, and even ignites your metabolism. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is colostrum? It is the first nutrition that all mammals receive at birth, packed with everything the body needs to thrive. And Armra Colostrum takes that incredible power and brings it to us in the purest, most potent form possible. Not only is Armra great for people like me that want to look better, feel better, but it is also a great tool for elite athletes too, as it can help boost performance, build lean muscle, improve endurance, and speed up recovery after intense work. 
workouts. So if you're ready to strengthen your body from the inside out, you have to check this out. I also do feel like it has enhanced my skin and overall helped strengthen my skin barrier. And we've worked out a special offer for my audience. You can receive 15% off your first order if you go to tryarmra.com slash better in all capital letters or enter better to get 15% off your first order. That's T R Y a r m r a dot com slash better i also cannot forget putting on some ambient lighting the warm colored lamps even sometimes colored lamps or like led lights or just something that kind of exudes like a vibe is always so cozy and comforting and signals to me that it's time to go to bed soon i also feel like getting into this cozy environment feels the best when you're like fresh out of a shower when you are fully clean you know you're smelling good from your soap from your body Body wash your hair is clean you can rub your fingers through your hair and it actually feels like a massage your skin is clear you have no makeup on you've just like lathered either skincare on your face or maybe you have like a face mask that is super hydrating and moisturizing maybe your nails are done your toes are done your body is moisturized you've got body oil on maybe a little bit of perfume like you are just feeling your absolute best in this cozy environment i don't think anything beats that i mean for me even having like my legs shaved in like fresh sheets it's just unbeatable and that experience in itself makes me want to voluntarily get into bed i feel like another sensory cozy vibe that i missed out on is if you're baking something or cooking something at the same time and you just smell that whether that is like a home-cooked dinner meal or maybe it's cookies that you made or something that you baked i feel like that would top it off like not only the candle but you've got home-cooked food or maybe it's the warm cup of tea beside you no matter what the flavor is is anyways that is my ideal for my cozy environment like my dream scenario i feel like a more realistic scenario is when i'm in my bedroom and all of those things kind of are aligned you know i feel fresh i'm out of the shower i've done my skincare routine and i'm wearing something that just like feels really good on my skin i love wearing silk or like cozy cotton pajamas my blinds are shut i might have a lamp on i might have a candle going and i pull out my journal that makes me feel like I can't even describe it. Honestly, if you don't journal, I highly recommend doing that after this episode or sometime soon because it truly makes all the difference to express your feelings out on paper and have something to brain dump into. I also feel like having a clean room as you're going to bed also enhances the experience, just knowing that you don't have to wake up with mountains of clothes beside you. But anyways, we're talking about our ideal scenario, so that is mine. So hopefully that kind of put you in the scene with me and we both feel like we're in this cozy environment ready to get into bed. Now I want to tell you guys, no matter what day you had today, whether you were working all day long or you were dealing with people that truly cannot see a different point of view or maybe they were having a bad day and their energy kind of rubbed onto you or maybe you were just having a hectic day, super busy and just the fast pace of other people rushing you kind of makes you feel anxious or maybe you had a pressing deadline or your eyes just feel strained from looking at a computer for too long or looking at your phone for too long no matter what the case may be just know that that is out of the way that is done you do not have to deal with that anymore and though you may have things to deal with in the future all there is is now the present moment is what you have and that is what matters and I might have said this before but when I go to yoga class I always remind myself that no matter how busy I am outside of yoga class it is only one hour of my day and for one hour nobody needs me I do not know the outside world. I do not know the notifications I'm getting. I do not know about some text that I need to respond. And even if there is that feeling of having deadlines or having that impending doom feeling or having people waiting on you that does not need to concern you for the time that you are going to bed at that time you are fully there to rest to recover and if you've clocked out of work you don't have to deal with a lot of those things until the following day now i understand the feeling of not being able to fully clock out as i work for myself and being someone on social media i'm constantly connected to my phone but i know that i'm also able to turn it off and i will be able to enter that world tomorrow when I'm feeling well rested and more equipped to handle whatever is going on. You know, I have the power to turn my phone off and block that out for now. And if that is the case, then I'm going to enjoy the peace that
that I'm giving myself and enjoying the night while I can and just feeling relaxed in that. Don't feel guilty about that. We all need our rest. We all need recovery. If you are having problems at home or you feel like you can't truly disconnect or step away from it, just know that while at least you're listening to this episode, hopefully in earphones, you can just be calm for the time being. Nobody is coming to you. Nobody is bothering you. And if also you do have the space to feel this relaxed and calm or even just for the brief amount of time that this episode lasts be grateful for this silent time for this time that you're having for yourself and say thank you to yourself for taking time to prioritize your mental health and your bedtime routine no matter what energies came to you today maybe bad energies evil eyes negative energy darker auras wash that all away imagine yourself just taking that off of you sometimes i like to like go in the shower or do a meditation and i feel like whenever i listen to the meditations or the shower meditations they always say imagine your body being showered with like white light or maybe it's the water if you're actually in the shower but imagine this white light just going all over your body and getting rid of all the negativity that was on you all of the dark energy if there was darkness around your brain around your head around your heart just imagine this white light coming onto you and kind of covering your body melting you from your head to your shoulders to your arms to your hips to your legs and you are just being covered in this white light and this white light is just peace and purity and know that you do not have to cling to this negative energy that may have been placed on you you have the power to control your emotions and your thoughts and anything that was thrown your way today that was negative or unnecessary or just not good vibes you do not have to hold on to that you do not have to hold on to the negativity that anyone passes to you that anyone says to you that is their problem and it's honestly really sad for them but for you if you have the capability in you maybe you forgive them and know that that is not your problem it has nothing to do with you even maybe you need to forgive yourself maybe that's the scenario but just know that you have the power to shape your thoughts and your emotions and just for the time being for this afternoon for tonight clear yourself from those rid yourself from those and just wash the day away you do not have to worry about that anymore and it is now time for you if you haven't already done it i highly recommend you to dim the lights turn your phone off go on do not disturb keep your room cool and comfortable maybe after this episode you play white noise when you're going to sleep or or frequency music. I always feel like listening to frequency music before I go to bed it completely changes my energy and I always feel so energized waking up in the morning. Sleeping to frequency music can actually help you so much because it can influence brain wave activity, promoting relaxation, and helping the mind and body transition into deeper states of rest. Not only will this soothing music calm your nervous system, reducing your stress and anxiety, this soothing music will actually actually calm your nervous system, reducing your stress and anxiety, and cause you to sleep a lot faster. It is also said that some certain frequencies can actually resonate with the body and mind on a cellular level, promoting healing and balance during sleep, and I think that there is nothing more than I would want but that. It is also said that with any music that you go to sleep to, like frequency music or white noise, since it has that repetitive steady sound, it can help quiet an overactive mind, making it easier to let go of daily stresses and induce sleep. If you don't already do this, I really, really, really recommend trying it. Try it tonight. Let your mind calm down. Don't overthink anything. What happened, happened. You have tomorrow to think things through. Do try to listen to this music to calm your nervous system down and prepare for sleep. Something else that I love to do before going to bed is listening to a short guided meditation to help relax the body and mind. I feel like whenever I listen to a meditation, my body is always just so relaxed that I could even fall asleep at 12 p.m. the day before. So if it makes me tired during the day, imagine how it makes you feel the night of. Deep breathing is another technique that goes hand in hand with meditation that can truly reduce stress and anxiety and overall just make your body feel so much more refreshed. I also want to point out that visualization techniques before sleeping is so helpful as well to relax yourself and I mean even earlier in this episode we kind of set the scene of our most peaceful and relaxing vibe you can even do that for yourself with your eyes closed to have the similar effect daydream about the most peaceful place you can think of about a place that gives you serenity and just calmness it can be with somebody that you love somebody that releases that oxytocin into your brain that makes you feel tired 
Now together, we are going to do some bedtime affirmations. We did this for the morning episode and everyone loved it, so let's do it together. I'm going to say my affirmation and then there's going to be a blank sound and when that blank sound comes, you're going to repeat the affirmation either out loud or in your head. So let's get started. My anxiety and frustrations have left my body. I have done my best for the day. I am slowly falling into deep sleep. I attract only positivity in my life. As I fall asleep, all of my wishes are coming true. I am allowing myself to rest peacefully. I only allow thoughts of good, deep sleep in my mind. I am abundant in every way possible. I release the stress of today and welcome peaceful rest. I am calm, I am safe, and I am at peace. I trust in the process of life and let go of all worries. My mind and body deserve this time to rest and rejuvenate. I am grateful for today and I am excited for tomorrow. I breathe deeply, relax fully, and sleep soundly. My dreams are peaceful and filled with positivity. I allow myself to rest, heal, and recover. I am surrounded by love, safety, and comfort. I let go of what I cannot control and focus on what brings me peace. I am capable of handling anything that comes my way. I trust that the universe is working in my favor even when I can't see it. Every night, I wake up feeling refreshed, radiant, and glowing. I deserve restful sleep that nourishes my mind, body, and spirit. My skin, hair, and body renew and heal as I rest peacefully. Okay, you guys, those were some affirmations that I like to say before I go to bed. I feel like these help you with releasing stress, anxiety, any worries that you may have, and even promoting positivity and can kind of help you manifest having a restful, deep sleep that promotes health, vitality, radiance, and just good vibes for the day to come. Honestly, I recommend you writing down a list of things that you were grateful for that happened today, things that stood out to you, things that you witnessed that were honestly like as somebody on tiktok says pockets of peace and truly be grateful for the day that you had it is not easy at this time in life i feel like there is so much going on there is so much commotion and the fact that you are able to handle another day with confidence with peace with love and you were able to navigate it as well as you could is honestly something to commend you for and even if it didn't go that well if it wasn't the best day for you you didn't have a blast today maybe something went wrong or maybe you didn't even act in the way that you wanted to act, know that tomorrow is a brand new day where you can start fresh and you can truly change the course of your life. I hope you guys remember that. You have the option to create your life and to carve out a reality and a lifestyle that you deserve and that you truly want. The world is in your favor and you have the power to make those changes. Tomorrow is going to be a good day. You're going to wake up on the right note, on the right foot, on the right side of the bed, and it is a new day to not only work as hard as you can, but 
to attack each thing that you have to do with preparation in mind. You've already done the first step, which is getting ready the night before. When tomorrow comes, you're going to be able to go through the day accomplishing every little task that you have to do and feeling productive and feeling positive about it. I hope that today was a productive day for you and that you accomplished everything that you did. And if not, like I said, there's always tomorrow where you can work hard and have a second chance. And even if you did slip up on something today, we are not perfect. We are not meant to be perfect. Nobody is perfect. I definitely know that I have my flaws and my mistakes. And when I don't have the best day, I give myself grace and I tell myself it's only one day. As this episode is coming to an end, I hope that you take the time before you go to bed. I hope that you take the time to take a few deep breaths, ones where you breathe in through your nose, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out of your mouth. You can repeat this a few times. And with every breath exiting your body, feel that the stress and anxieties of the day are leaving your body. Visualize tomorrow how you're going to feel when you wake up well rested, feeling refreshed, feeling like you had some beauty sleep, and feeling just a lot healthier. Envision yourself waking up, looking at yourself in the mirror, and saying, I'm excited for this day, I'm grateful for another chance, and I'm going to do the best that I can to make this day a better day than it was yesterday. You can visualize yourself getting ready, picking out your outfit, doing your makeup, getting your hair ready, making your breakfast, leaving the house, and make sure to visualize it in a positive positive way that is calm and smooth, filled with moments of joy and ease. Have some compassion and tell yourself it is okay, it is normal to feel stressed. You are only human. As I've said in a different podcast before, we are all doing this for the very first time. What matters now is that you are taking the time to rest and you are going to take on tomorrow with fresh energy. You are truly stronger than you think and I'm so proud of you for finishing off this day in a peaceful way. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed listening to this. If this was your bed time audio sound. I hope I was giving you the calming, peaceful vibes that you deserve and I hope you have a good night. I'm going to go to sleep as well and I am very proud of myself today too. So together, me and you, let's go to sleep. Let's have some sweet dreams and tomorrow is going to be such a good day. I already know it. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.